Today we'll differentiate between ZK rollup and optimistic rollup, popular Ethereum layer 2 protocols that help to boost speed and lower transaction costs. But first, blockchain rollups are scaling solutions designed to scale slow and expensive blockchain like Ethereum. Rollup processes transactions on another faster blockchain called layer 2, then bundle them into groups of batches and submits them to a parent blockchain. That way, the cost of that transaction is split across many users. Their time is saved because they don't have to wait and pay for each transaction to process independently on Ethereum. Therefore, users can benefit from the speed and cheapness of the rollup while also benefiting from the security of the main blockchain. To make it clear, Ethereum processes 15 to 30 transactions per second. That's like handling 54,000 to 108,000 transactions in an hour. Now imagine this, when loads of people are trying to transact, only the top 54,000 to 108,000 transactions get through due to congestion, causing high fees and slow verification. But what if we had an express lane for Ethereum transactions? This lane gathers up lots of transactions, say 10,000, bundles them together into a single package. Then this package gets submitted onto the Ethereum network. So one move represents a group of transactions, easing the congestion and boosting transactions per second. With this, Ethereum could process over 10,000 transactions per second. This is basically the ideology behind rollups. Now, let's look at the two main types of rollup, optimistic rollup and ZK rollup. The difference between the two is how they verify transaction before posting them on the main blockchain. For optimistic rollup, they assume that all transactions contained within a rollup are valid unless proven otherwise using a fraud proof. Transactions are grouped together off-chain into a patch and processed off-chain by a set of validators, after which they are submitted to the main chain in a compressed format. But here is the interesting part. To ensure that this batch of transaction is not manipulated, it allows network users to dispute fraudulent transactions before they are submitted to the main chain. This is termed challenge period during which anyone can submit evidence of a fraud proof to prove that a transaction is invalid. This lasts for about a week. If no evidence is submitted, the batch is considered valid and is added to the main blockchain. On the other hand, if evidence is submitted, the dispute is resolved through a dispute resolution process and the batch is either accepted or rejected based on the outcome of the process. ZK rollups do not assume the validity of the submitted transactions. Instead, they use a sophisticated cryptographic technique known as zero knowledge proof to verify the legitimacy of transactions before submitting them to the main blockchain. Zero knowledge proof are a type of cryptography that allows someone to prove that they know something without revealing what that something is. In the case of ZK rollup, the something that is being proven is that the transaction in a rollup block are valid without showing all the transaction details. Similar to other rollup solutions, ZK rollups begin by grouping multiple transactions into a batch or rollup block. Next, it uses mathematical algorithm to generate validity proof for each transaction within that batch. Instead of submitting all transaction details to the main blockchain, it submits only this validity proof. This validity proof serves as an evidence that the transaction have indeed taken place and are valid. In addition, the validity proof allows anyone to confirm the transaction within a rollup block are valid without needing to reveal any information about those transactions. So which is better, ZK rollup or optimistic rollup? Let's look at their strengths and weaknesses under these four categories. Transaction validity time, security and privacy, gas fees, and implementation. Optimistic rollup transaction verification can take a week because of how fraud proof work. This means that during the challenge period, 
users' phone take up to a week to be reversed if the validity of transaction is in question. On the other hand, ZK rollups eliminate the need for a challenge period. This enables users to withdraw their fund promptly without any waiting period. For security and privacy, ZK rollups offer improved security and privacy because they verify transactions through validity proof. For gas fee, ZK rollups are typically higher in gas fee. This is because they require more computational power than optimistic rollup to generate validity proof. When it comes to implementation, ZK rollup are generally more complex to implement than optimistic rollup. This is primarily due to the cryptographic techniques and computational involvement in generating and verifying zero knowledge proof. In addition, ZK rollups are limited to supporting specific use cases such as swapping NFTs or transferring coins. However, there is a new type of ZK rollup called ZK EVMs. They are a new type of ZK rollups that is EVM compatible, which means that they can be used to run Ethereum applications. So what are my thoughts? Both optimistic rollup and ZK rollups are promising scaling solution for Ethereum. However, they have different strengths and weaknesses. Okay, this is it guys. I'll see you in the next video. So if you want to learn how to trade cryptocurrencies profitably and learn more about cryptocurrency and DeFi, then create a Bybit account and join my group. All links are in the description. I'll see you in that group and in the next video.